Hey everyone, it's Lady Creed. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I do pray and hope you and your families are all doing well. Well, if you read the title of the video, this is a video response for the In Love Art Shop. Um, not too long ago, um, they did send me out some stamps and dies to review and uh, create a little something with the product. And so let me share with you what I have used uh, for my project today okay so uh, this is the package that the items came in but this is the dies that I'm showcasing today and this is called um, the tag boy and girl die that's the boy sorry for the glare and this is for the girl so there you go Okay, so I thought these were some nice little cute dies. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and share with you some additional things that I pulled out of my own stash. I'm using this um, Sizzix um, Buttons number no. 5 um, die set. And my crafty godmother, Lesia, she blessed me with this. Hey, little lady. <laughs> I'm so happy she gave me that. Um, I'm also using a crafter's companion die, and this is a doily. I also pulled out my pebbles, puffy stickers for girl and boy. I also pulled out some stickers that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. And the paper of choice for this round, I went with one of my favorites, the Paper Studio Ice Cream Parlor. Lots of cute um, pastels okay so let me share with you what i have created for the in love art shop to showcase the um tag boy and girl die and here you go i thought i would create a little bag and i love how it turned out as you see where i use my ice cream parlor paper this is the pink gingham and then on the flip side it has this pattern here here is the tag right there. And I did pull out my ball and chain. I love using that. And I love making these bags. I've shared with you these bags before. And this is the Dollar Tree sticker here. And then this is that doily. And this is where I used the Sizzix button. And what I did was gave it a monochromatic look and it just blended in with the handle. And I thought that was so cute. And I use glitter paper for the tag because I wanted a pop to stand out, a pop of a deeper color. So I use, this is a doodle bug pink glitter paper that I pick up from Hobby Lobby. And this is the back. This is where I use that pebble sticker. <laughs> so yes, isn't that cute? <laughs> I love it. And so what I put on the inside of my bag is a Disney Baby uh, Minnie Mouse pacifier. Isn't that cute? <laughs> BPA free. And so, yes, you all know I love Mickey. I love Minnie too, but I like Mickey the best. <laughs> so that's um, my girl bag. And here is the boy bag so cute <laughs> here's the tag again for the boy again i used some um, glitter paper i wanted that pop of color to stand out my ball and chain again my buttons again i did it with the monochromatic just blended in with the handles and here's that dollar tree sticker and that doily and so it's so cute <laughs> and then that's the back and so on the inside of this one i put the disney baby mickey mouse pacifier <laughs> so cute i love it and so these are some small gifts that are ready for me to just give and be a blessing um, with that pacifier in there or if i change you know decide to change um, the item that's on the inside, I can merely put a gift card in there and put some tissue paper. But either way, I think it's very, very cute. I love, love, love how these came out. So pretty. And many of you know that I love to create baby projects, especially cards. 
um, but when it come to you know gift bags because I love bags and boxes as well um, <laughs> that falls into play as well so yes so in the description box below will be the link to the in love art shop if you would like to purchase any of their products <clears throat> excuse me um, um, I do have a 15% off discount coupon and I will leave that in, in the description box as well and so that way you can go over and do a little shopping alrighty well I pray that you were inspired by this project to pull out what you have create and have a little fun I love you be encouraged be blessed bye